You are watching Melody Lane With me you're gonna have a great crafting time Well hello there everyone, it is Holly with Melody Lane Inspired And today I have an update in Design Space for you I don't know about you, but I'm always super excited for updates to see what is new. Now, when we look at the screen, there's only one thing that you're going to notice that is different. At the top over here, where it usually says my projects, it now says my stuff. So we will get into that in a second. But first, I want to show you another update that you just don't see while you're looking at it. And this update is gonna be within the text. So let's go ahead and add some text to our canvas here. All right. Make that two line. All right. Now we have our little text here. Let's go ahead and change that font. Looky, look at the new font menu. Is this not exciting? Okay, so here we have in the fonts, you can go ahead and search for the font name, category style, all of that. It'll show you what language each of them are available in. It also has these filters you can choose. So it has all different ones if you go across. There's cursive, contemporary, chunky, sports, vintage, delicate, and so on. And you can actually also use more than one filter. So say I wanted a contemporary Contemporary, what do we want to do? Contemporary, but I want it a stencil. You can click both and it will filter it down. And at the top here, you can go ahead and choose between your Cricut, your system, your bookmarked, or your recent fonts. One I really love to filter by is Celebration. This is going to give you the ones, oh, I don't need marker two, but if you're looking for marker Celebration, there are fonts there for you. We're going to click off the marker. Just looking for celebratory ones. And this will give you different ones like Christmas ones, Halloween ones, all of that in one place, which I love. I feel like I see so many more fonts when it's like this because how many of us, we start at the top and we scroll down and we get part of the way down and we find our font, but we never quite make it to the bottom. When I'm filtering like this, I'm seeing so many more fonts that I just might not have made it to before or I forgot about. When you click on one, it'll go ahead and change your image right there so you can see it and you don't have to go back if you don't like that font and you want to choose something else awesome thing is you don't have to go back and find a different font you can just scroll down and click and see which one you like happy holidays and if you've seen, we had two new batches of fonts released this week that are all Cricut Access, and they are all BFC fonts. All right, I wanted the Celebration BFC fonts. Those are all right here that you can choose from. I had to give it some color there. You can go into your bookmarked fonts, which if you don't bookmark your fonts, I highly suggest it. It's an easy way to keep track of some of your favorite fonts. And then just click through and find whichever one is good for you. I was very excited for this update. And the filter is right here. You can go ahead and filter it too by all these different options to choose from. And it will let you know if it's accessed here. These are my bookmark fonts. And then if it's purchased and you can go ahead and download it also. So go ahead and play with the new features in the text. I think this is a great addition. I love not having to go back because I definitely change fonts numerous times before I decide on a font. It's never just once. I never go once and go, yep, that's it. Now I may look at like 20 other fonts and come back to the original font, that happens, but I do always like to play around with it and see, this is a new one, the Happy Synced, not Happy, the BFC Synced. It's another new cursive one I really like. It's Farmhouse Christmas. So I can go ahead and add that one. Once you type in a selection, it's gonna go ahead and give you what categories are available on this. So Christmas cursive. It's like calligraphy, but it's calligra calligra what? This word. How do you say it? And one thing to think of with the new font picker is you're going to want to move your fonts until you decide what font you want. You're going to want to have them over to the right some. So I'm going to scoot these over a little bit. And the reason that is, is because when you go ahead and choose your font, your drop down is going to be here. 
So you can go ahead and click and see what different fonts look like and you don't have to move, but you wanna be able to see them. So if they were behind the menu here, I'd have to click off to see it to change it. So always go ahead and put your fonts over to the right. Go ahead and take a look at the My Stuff tab. Remember previously it said My Projects, but now when we go into this, you can see we have our projects here and we have our images. And then on the left are our collections. And then across the top, you can choose from your projects, bookmarked, ready to make or all. And then you can also go ahead and filter by date or by alphabet. Now a great added benefit of Cricut Access is that you have an unlimited number of collections you can use. If you would like a thousand collections, you can have a thousand collections. Now if you're not Access, you do get five collections, but it is limited to five. Now, how do you get your projects or images into collections? Very easily. There's a couple different ways you can do it. You can go ahead right here and choose the select button. And then this is going to let you choose up to 100 projects at a time to add to that collection. So for instance, we're going to go ahead and grab some of these. Santa riding a unicorn. That is definitely Christmas. So after we've grabbed the images we want to add to the collection, we can go ahead and hit next. Now you're able to choose as many collections as you want to add it to. So I'm going to go ahead and add those Christmas, Holly's designs, and then hit add. And those went ahead and added to my Christmas collection. You can also just go ahead and drag. So you can click on the project, go ahead, drag it over, let go. And then as you see down here, that was added to my Christmas collection. And then the same thing with images. You can do the same with images also. So you can go ahead and select them one by one. You can drag them, or you can also always hit the three little dots, add to a collection, and then go ahead here and add it to a collection. Say you're uploading an image and you want to add it to a collection. So let's go to uploads. Let's go ahead and upload an image. Okay, let's go, there's a lot there. Let's go to downloads and how about me with a donut? Cause who doesn't love a donut? At least if it's pink and there's sprinkles. Okay, let's go ahead. We're gonna add this and I'm just playing with it. So once we get on this screen here where we can select our upload type, either the cut image or the print and cut image, you can see here on the side are your collections. So you can go ahead and add it to several collections. You have already, set it to Bitmoji, Holly. Now, as you see, you can't quite upload it yet because you haven't chosen which upload type you like. So I'm gonna go ahead and choose print and cut and then upload. And then that is already in my collection there. I don't know about you, but I think it is pretty darn great that they put all these in one area that we can find our stuff easily. It's so much easier to organize everything and have it right here. Those are the Cricut Design Space updates for the 7.23 release. We got the My Stuff, we got the new font picker, that font picker I love. So thank you for joining us today. I hope you'll learn something new. Let me know what you think of the new updates to Design Space. We hope you all have a wonderful week. Thank you for joining us. Go ahead, give us the like and the subscribe and happy crafting everyone. Bye.